How wonderful person, this is Anton, and today we're going to discuss the recent discovery of the third interstellar comet. A mysterious object coming from somewhere else out there that after just a few days of discovery has now been officially confirmed to be definitely interstellar. It's not from the solar system for sure. And so in this video, let's discuss some of the recent discoveries in just the last few days, talk about some of the major updates, but I guess first a super quick clarification about what's happening with the background here. You might have seen the announcement on YouTube, but uh, yeah, my studio got flooded, I lost a lot of hardware, I lost a lot of footage, and have to now wait for the new stuff to arrive. And so in the meanwhile, I decided to just take a break, go on a bit of a travel tour with my son, and basically make these somewhat impromptu videos from this incredible location in uh, my hotel room. And so my apologies if the quality is maybe not up to par. But anyway, I still wanted to talk about this, I wanted to discuss some of the stuff that was recently discovered about the comet, and of course why this is kind of super exciting as well. And so let's dive into this somewhat extraordinary astronomical event that already captured the attention of astronomers worldwide. And well, the name is 3i Atlas. 3i because it's third interstellar object. And if you've been following astronomy long enough, you probably remember the first two. In 2017, we had the famous Oumuamua, the object that caused a lot of controversy when someone proposed that maybe it's actually some kind of an alien probe. Uh, today we know that it's very likely not. It was, however, super intriguing because it started to produce cometary features without a physical tail. But you may want to check out some of the previous videos in the description that explain why. The second object in 2019 was 2i Borisov, a very different object that almost right away produced a tail, but also had somewhat unique composition compared to comets in our own solar system. And so here we had these two different objects, actually very different objects, which means that for the past six years, astronomers were eagerly waiting for the third arrival. Was it going to look like Oumuamua? something that looks like Borisov, or something else entirely? And the answer is, yeah, this one, the third one, is completely different. And though we still know very little about it, its journey from the depths of the interstellar space offers us a great opportunity to learn about the universe beyond our cosmic neighborhood. But how exactly was it found? Well, it only happened a few days back from when I'm making this video, July 1st. On July 1st, 2025, NASA funded Atlas Survey Telescope located in Rio Hurtado, Chile, discovered a bizarre dot. A dot that was moving just a little bit too fast, so it received its provisional name, A11PI3Z. And though these discoveries do happen quite a lot, there was something different about this one. Within just a few days, follow-up observations and analysis of pre-discoveries from previous telescopes, including Zwicky Transient Facility, confirmed that this was moving way, way too fast. As a matter of fact, this was the fastest we've ever seen anything move, other than, of course, our own probes. Here, the velocity was confirmed to be 61 kilometers per second, or 38 miles per second, at a distance of 670 million kilometers, or 4.5 astronomical units. And because of this very fast velocity, it meant that it had to pass through the solar system and could not be orbiting anything. It was on what's known as a hyperbolic path or essentially it contained hyperbolic excess velocity. And so its velocity was just a little bit too high to be captured by the sun or by any other object. And that means that it's going to pass through the solar system very quickly and will continue its journey back into the vastness of interstellar space, never to return. With this excess hyperbolic velocity also suggesting that it originated from a very faraway star ejected from its home system a long time ago. But exactly how it was ejected, or by what, is of course unknown. And at first it wasn't even clear if this was a comet or an asteroid either. Mostly because it was not clear if it was actually emitting anything, but that became pretty clear when the coma was officially discovered. As a matter of fact, it's now established that its coma has a somewhat reddish color, kind of similar to the comet Borisov, which indicates a lot of dust. And it seems to be emitting so much dust that all of it is covering the nucleus, preventing us from seeing how fast the comet is spinning. The shell of reflective dust is so thick right now, it's impossible to see through it. And so right now it just looks like a tiny fuzzy object, which offers us a really important hint. It seems to be mostly made out of ice and not rock. And on top of this, this is the largest of three objects discovered so far. 
according to current measurements, it could be up to about 20 kilometers or 12 miles in size. But once again, because it's so fuzzy, it could also be just a few hundred meters across. So the true size is not going to be known for quite some time. But because it's already visible and because it's emitting so much dust, it is believed to be pretty large. And luckily for us, this was discovered pretty far away from the sun. So right now it's still approaching the sun and it's going to reach its closest point sometimes in October. But unfortunately for us, on October 29th, when it's supposed to be at the closest point, it's also going to be behind the sun from the perspective of planet Earth. In other words, we're not going to be able to directly observe it with the telescopes from the planet. However, there's something else we can do. Apparently at that point, it's also going to be extremely close to Mars. As a matter of fact, it's going to pass approximately 0.2 AU away from Mars, appearing as an object with a magnitude of 11. And that means that some of the Mars orbiters might be able to observe it and may be able to report what they see. And from planet Earth is going to become visible once again sometimes in December of 2025. Although without a telescope, it is going to be almost impossible to see. It's just not bright enough. But technically, it's already pretty close to the Sun, so it's kind of curious that we didn't see it until now. And while it might be because of where it's technically coming from, or where it was located a few months back. One of the main reasons it was not discovered earlier is possibly because it was passing the galactic center, which is an extremely dense region with a lot of stars, a lot of dust, a lot of objects, and where trying to find a tiny dot would be practically impossible. But because it was now officially discovered, in the next few months there are going to be a lot of additional observations, including potential observations with the James Webb, revealing exactly what's going on here and what this is made out of. And I guess just so that we're clear, this is definitely not an alien probe again. I'm sorry if this disappoints you. But because this is a comet, as it warms up and gets closer, the ices on the surface are going to sublimate, creating a huge coma made out of gas and dust that's going to help us understand what it's probably made out of. And that's because it's going to become possible to see what sort of molecules are coming from the surface. And that can hold a lot of clues about the nature of a lot of interstellar objects and of course about planetary formation and star systems out there. Because this is a pristine primordial remnant, similar to many comets in the solar system, representing leftovers of planetary formation billions of years ago. And so by analyzing all of this ice and dust, we'll eventually know exactly what this formed from. And by analyzing the trajectory, we might even find the home star system where it came from. Now for Borisov and Oumuamua, we've discussed some of the previous candidates, but right now there is really nothing concrete. Although because this comet was discovered so early, and because we have so much time to study it, we might end up with a lot more data, focusing on the chemical makeup of this object and discovering its exact composition. Because right now all we see is just a tiny blur surrounded by a tiny tail. And this will hopefully tell us if other star systems are built similar to ours or if they contain entirely different compositions. Likewise, this might help us explain how these objects get ejected and how comets or even planets might get kicked out from their home systems. Naturally, right now, none of this is known. Although here one thing is a little bit unusual. This object is extremely bright. And that's very likely because of the reflection from the dust, implying that there is a lot of pristine material that's never seen any other star before. And so because it's so bright, and because it's much bigger than previous two objects, scientists will be able to get much more data from this than was previously possible. But because it's so much faster, there's absolutely no way we'll ever be able to catch it or perform any kind of a retrieval mission. And so here we can only observe this comet from a distance. Although intriguingly, missions like the European Space Agency's Comet Interceptor that's supposed to launch in 2029 is actually designed precisely for this type of a mission. It's designed to rendezvous with some of these comets, assuming they're not moving too fast. But we'll talk more about this closer to the mission in 2029. But a much more exciting type of discoveries are going to come from the Vera Rubin Observatory in Chile. We've recently discussed this during the live stream with the link in the description. But here, based on statistical analysis, we actually expect to find pretty much one every month. And that's based on the assumption that 10,000 such objects exist in the solar system. We just cannot see them very well. And so once we find hundreds or even thousands of these, we'll be able to tackle a lot more questions. For example, maybe some of them will contain precursors of life, such as amino acids, providing more clues about potential life in other star systems. 
Or maybe one of these comments will help us explore the fascinating concept of panspermia, the hypothesis that life, or at least a lot of the building blocks, can be transferred between celestial bodies, between various star systems, and between comets and asteroids. And so for all we know, we'll discover something super exciting once more telescopes become operational and once more of these objects are discovered. And so here, because the solar system is basically like this giant net catching all of these objects all the time, the biggest challenge today has always been detecting them. But with Vera Rubin and James Webb, we'll be able to catch them, analyze them, and learn so much about them in mere months. And so the discovery of 3i Atlas serves as a powerful reminder of how much we've come as a species, and of course about the dynamic interconnected nature of the entire galaxy. Each of these interstellar visitors is a unique messenger, each of them carries its own secrets, and each of them is going to help us uncover so much more about the entire galaxy and the possibility of extraterrestrial life. But until future discoveries, that's at least for now all we know. We'll definitely come back and discuss this more once there are some more observations from, for example, the James Webb Space Telescope, but there's just not much else we have. Until then, check out some of the previous videos in the description. Thank you for watching, subscribe, come back tomorrow to learn something else, maybe support this channel on Patreon where you can find additional videos, videos without any ads and can DM me directly, or by joining the channel membership where you get early access, some other secret videos and some other stuff. Or maybe you can buy the wonderful person t-shirt in the description. On that note, stay wonderful, I'll see you tomorrow, and as always, bye-bye.